Hello everyone, today I want to talk about the new upcoming character Sea Tween and hopefully help you figure out if she fits your playstyle and team composition, so ultimately if this character is worth your wishes. First let's quickly cover her skill kit, and the normal attacks are pretty standard so let's skip straight to the elemental skill. It creates a bubble which bounces between targets dealing damage while healing your team at the same time. Holding down the button will allow you to charge the bubble up making it bigger, more damage, more healing and in this larger state it can even imprison smaller enemies. This skill also creates two source water droplets, the same one Nivellet uses which can be absorbed by Sea Tween as well to gain bond of life which generates energy for her when it is cleared. The burst skill absorbs the source water droplets automatically while doing some hydro damage. As for passive skills, the first one when your active character drops below 50% HP while being underwater, it will trigger a heal from Sea Tween but in turn it reduces resistances for some time. And the second one, when she uses her elemental skill, Sea Tween gains extra hydro damage bonus and adds extra damage to your team's elemental skills based on her max HP. It's basically the same passive skill Jean Yun or Cloud Retainer has to increase your team's plunging attack damage, same thing but for elemental skills instead. And the last one, Sea Tween's healing gains extra healing bonus based on the current bond of life total across your entire team. More bond of life on your characters means more healing from Sea Tween. In terms of placer, this is a utility character, so obviously there isn't much else to it than just pressing her skills and switching off her. I already mentioned the parallels to Zhang Yun, who is very good for a specific niche. Sutrine is a little different though. Her damage buff is not quite as strong as Cloud Retainers, but since it applies to elemental skills in general, it should be beneficial in a lot of situations. It's not a niche at all. This effect also scales until Sutrine hits about, I believe, 65,000 HP, so you don't even have to worry about that. In general, this is quite a simple character, very easy to use. The elemental skill does bounce quite often, so against a single target, her off-field hydro application might actually be quite decent, but obviously it won't be anywhere near as good as Kokomi's, especially against larger groups. Chichuin can crit though, so she might actually do decent damage. I wouldn't be too optimistic in that regard though. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised that she turned out to be a 5 star character because she seems more like a for fun character like Charlotte for example, who also is a 4 star character. As for the build, I think you only care about one thing and that is max HP to scale her passive skill to increase your team's elemental skill damage. If you have some leftover energy recharge, I think it's quite valuable because her burst skill will deal some decent damage I assume, and then some crit rate, crit damage or hydro damage bonus even. Elemental mastery is probably the least desirable damage sets, but if you have leftover here, it's not terrible as well. Then for weapons, this is where it gets really rough because there aren't any bows with HP subsets. No 4 star bows, I don't have any 3 star bows with it, but I read on some website that there is one presumably called the recurve, recurve bow and you can loot it from chests I believe. And it has 46% HP at level 90, which would be great, but again, if you have it, lock it. If it doesn't exist, well then, too bad. But otherwise, I think she is quite reliant on her 5-star weapon. And if you don't have it, there's another 5-star weapon called Elegy of the End, which provides some great utility for your team. And if you don't have any of those, you have to use just some random 4-star weapon, I, I'm afraid to say like the Stringless for extra damage, or the Fabonius Bow for energy, even the Sacrificial Bow can be good for the reset, but you can't have two bubbles at once, so you can reset your elemental skill, switch off her, and once the bubble is gone you can switch back to her and press it again, I guess. And then for artifacts, quite straightforward again, just HP in every slot, and for the set, Tenacity of the Millilith, or even the Song of Days Past set, is quite good for the extra utility for your team. As for team compositions, at the end of the day, Sea Tween is a hydro healer, so if you require a character like this to, for example, break a pyro shield, she will do just fine in doing that while keeping your team alive in pretty much any situation. But if you want to draw some meaningful distinctions to specifically Kokomi, then Kokomi definitely has better large area off-field hydro application, but Sea Tween can pull ahead if you pair with characters that benefit from her elemental skill damage buff. Specifically, to name some synergies, of course, Nahida 
immediately comes to mind, same as Farina and Navia, but also Fischl, Yai. I think Al Haytham's mirrors are considered elemental skill damage, so he's also pretty decent. And then Albedo, Shiori, and Novelette is obviously here for the source water droplets that uh, Sea Twin creates with her elemental skill. And to give you some examples for team compositions, I think this, I would call it hybrid Hyper Bloom team is quite good. Obviously the synergy between Farina and Sea Twin is great with the healing and damage buff, then Nahida like does a lot of dendro damage and creates a lot of dendro pots, while also buffing elemental mastery, especially for Yai when you switch to her to press her elemental burst skill to pop all the pots and do a lot of hyper bloom damage. Alternatively, if you don't have her, you can also pick Shinobu. She is a little bit more consistent on the hyper bloom side, but obviously her elemental skill does way less damage, so less synergy with Forina's damage buff, for example. Next, a Navia team with, I think, also a lot of cross synergy. Of course, we still have Farina and Citrine. If you don't have Farina, you can even pick up something like Kazua, and you only have Hydro crystallized in the team. So you charge up Navia quite fast and can do a lot of elemental skill damage with her. Then Albedo for Geo Resonance, and of course, a lot of elemental skill damage. You can replace him with Shiori, especially if you have uh, Constellation 1, because then she doesn't require a Geo construct, which you don't have in this team. Otherwise, of course, just for utility, Zhongli would also be a quite decent pickup. And if you really want to see big numbers and buff the heck out of Navia, you can definitely play triple utility character with Bennett, Zhongli, and Sichuan, but your crystal shard generation will be a lot lower with only Sichuan's hydro application. And personally, I'm not a big fan of these like super hyper carry Navia um, teams that only have Navia dealing damage basically. And to finally wrap this up, let me just go a little quicker over the options that are just decent in my opinion. For example, I'll hate them in this like, I guess, Hyper Bloom team. But to be honest, I think I hate them as just better in a straight up Quicken team like this, for example. Then we can, of course, go for Nevelette. He gains a little bit of benefit from the Source Water Droplets, but honestly, even if he has like, I believe it was Constellation 4, where he procs even more Source Water Droplets, and he actually gets a free, like, instant charge attack off that, I don't think that this is super worth it to be honest. There are better options than pairing him with a Sea Tween in my opinion. And if we want to go the fun route then we can even play something like uh, for example Lisa with her extra elemental skill damage um, which she can benefit from. And then the last one to mention would be Chlorant because you might think that she does a lot of elemental skill damage but as far as I know it is all considered normal attack damage so this is actually not synergy if I'm correct on this. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful to figure out if this character appears to you. I will get Sea Tween and try her out, so stay tuned for that. Until then, have fun and bye bye.